I've talked about a lot of different ways to come up with content ideas. And now let's talk about writing your very first content. This same model can be used to write your very first article that you want to submit out to article directories, which we'll be talking about on blogging DVD number three. This can be used to create your first article that you send out in an email. It can be create, used to create your first how-to article for your blog. It could be used to outline your first video. It's just basically a simple content writing system. Let's get right into it. Step one, research it. We've already covered how you can research it in all the different ways. You can use Google's keyword tool. You can use easing articles. You can do, use YouTube. You can use forums. You can read other blogs through your RSS reader. You can do surveys. But do the research. Make sure this is a problem that your readers want to solve. Step two, come up with a title for it. There's a lot of ways you can come up with titles, but I'm going to give you two easy ones to come up with. The first one is how to, such as how to save 30% or more on your taxes or how to earn an extra $2,325 with blogs. So how to do something and whenever possible, try to keep it specific. That's why you see me use specifics in each of those. Instead of just say how to save more on your taxes or how to earn extra money with your blogs, you'll see specific numbers there. And so that's model one is how to blank, solve a problem. The second model is 12 ways to. And you'll see the examples I have up on your screen are 18 ways to get top dollar for your home today and seven key secrets to reduce heart attacks. Obviously, those are list posts where you're going to have a list of something. You're going to give them different ways to accomplish it. We could also say seven steps to, and then it could be a step-by-step -step article, and you'll see we're using that simple model, and people want to know what are the seven steps? What are the 18 ways? Maybe I know 14 of them. What are the other four? So it works strong in curiosity. So that's another model. So you have two good models to title it when you start out. How to, and so many ways to, and then of course, play around and try other titles as well. Step three, divide it up. After you've written your title, go through the points you want to cover and write each one down into a separate point. So you might have three different steps. You might have seven different steps. If you're doing a list, there might be 50 different things that you're listing in the resources, but break them all up each. And then you're going to come back and you're going to illustrate and give examples for each point. But the first step here is just break it up into a basic outline. Step four, advertise it. I always try to figure out exactly what I'm selling or what my end goal is. We also call in marketing the call to action. What is the end result I want my readers to accomplish? Do I want them to buy a product after they read this content? Do I want them to sign up for a list? Do I want them to download a freebie that I have for them? Sign up for my teleconference. I like what Jimmy Brown says. He says we want to create useful but incomplete content. That means somebody can take the information and use it, but, but whatever it is that we want them to do to buy or to do afterwards is going to help them do it quicker and easier. So we're providing, for example, if I'm selling a software program, maybe I'm going to teach you exactly how to go promote your blog on the social sites, and then I'll sell you a software program that lets it be done, lets it done quicker. So how can your product give them more value? If I was sending out an article, I'd put a resource box at the bottom of the article that links back to me, usually to get them to sign up for a freebie. In a blog post, I might link to one of my products at the end, or I might link to an affiliate product that I can promote that's dealing with the subject. So in other words, I give them all this information, and if they want more information on it, they can buy this affiliate product. So I want to figure out how I'm turning this into money. If you just sell advertising on your blog, such as you sell AdSense advertising or you sell banner ads in your blog, then your goal at that point in time is you want the content just to keep people's eyes on the site and you want to put the ads in the spot that they're going to see them, such as in between each post. They'll see the banner ads so that they'll click on them and go to them or you'll put your AdSense so it's built into the side of your blog post. But whatever it is, we've got to figure out how you're making money and how you're getting those clicks, the visitors, to go somewhere else. Step five, you're going to write it. Don't edit it. Write it first. Edit later. That's where everybody screws up in writing is they'll sit down and they'll try to edit what they're writing. So they write a sentence and they go, well, that's not any good, and they delete it. They write another sentence, they delete it. You come back to them 
an hour later, they still have a blank page because they've deleted everything they've written. No, you sit down and you write, you keep writing. In fact, a good practice if you're having trouble with this is once you get into your post, turn off your computer screen, turn off your monitor so you can't see it anymore and just write. You can come back and you edit it later and you can start at whatever point in your, in your article that you want. So the point here is you're writing first and since we divide it up into outline, we can write just a little bit about each point. And then step six, you're going to come back and edit it. Take a break in between. Take at least an hour. If you can get a day or more, that's even better to come back and edit it. Improve your sentences. Read it all out loud to notice anywhere that you mess it up. If this is a really important post, have someone else read it out loud to you. But you go back in and edit it, make it all flow better, make it sound more simple, and make it easier for someone to use. And step seven, schedule it into WordPress. As we noticed when I showed you using our WordPress posting system, we don't have to publish immediately. We can schedule when we want it to run. So once you've finished it, don't put it off, put it onto your schedule, and it's going to run in WordPress for whenever you have it scheduled. And remember, we can have a series on a subject. So if you have a post that ends up being really long, you can break it into multiple posts. So it can become content for several days or even a week or longer as a series that you publish on your blog. So it's really simple to start writing and I have to give you one key principle where most people mess up is that they're trying to edit while they write. Do not edit while you write. Write first, edit later. That's the key principle and it's really easy to write your first article and so this is how you can get out there, write your first how-to or list article and do it right now.